Thank you, Dean. Thank you for that. And, um, and yes, being the biggest beneficiaries, we were ready to write the check. <laughs> Honorable Justice Mother Kome, Chief Justice, President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Dr. Patrick Joroge, Governor of Central Bank of Kenya, joining us online, and DJ Shela for joining us here. Thank you. Uh, I want to appreciate our host, Dr. Vincent Ogutu, Vice Chancellor of Strathmore University, uh, the President of LSK, Eric Deuri, Honorable Judges Present, the Honorable Judge Anne Claire Williams, fellow bank CEOs present, fellow bankers, and ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. All protocols observed, as we say as Kenyans. <laughs> It's good to see all of you here. Really pleased to be joining our host, Dr. Ogutu, and I want to congratulate you for your inauguration. For those who don't know, he just got inaugurated as a vice chancellor. Maybe you should clap for him. <laughs> also, I want to say this is the uh, first time Dr. Ogutu has been in such a room with so many judges. And in case they don't know, I brought all my cases. I'm hoping we can resolve them before we leave. <laughs> This, uh, this place, and I'm sure the Chief Justice will be okay with that, with that approach. So on behalf of the banking industry, I take this opportunity to extend our appreciation to everyone for attending this summit, to scale our economic activities through speedy resolution of disputes in banking sector and the wider economy. Indeed, as I've said, Kenya bankers appreciate this forum because we are the greatest beneficiaries through our customers. Let me start by a bit of reflection on conflict resolution, as Dr. Agutu has done. Traditional African societies believed that a conflict has to be managed as soon as possible. And just looking at some African proverbs, and non-African proverbs as well, here in Kenya we say, those who get to the river early drink the cleanest water. If a conflict is not managed within a short period of time, the problem becomes larger and complex. In Ethiopia, they believe that evil penetrates like a needle and then becomes like an oak tree if not dealt with. In Zimbabwe, they warn us that if a conflict is not resolved as soon as possible, it will be exposed to third party interference, captured in their proverb, slowness is a leopard, the hyena ate in transit. And I must say, as bankers, we believe that interference often comes from the lawyers. <laughs> and of course, the English taught us that a stitch in time saves nine. With that said, I am pleased to note that banks, our customers, partners, and the wider Kenyan public continue to embrace mediation as seen by the attendance to this conference. We appreciate the Honorable Chief Justice um, and President of the Supreme Court, Justice Mother Kome, on this partnership in having banking disputes filed in court referred to mediation under the judiciary's court annex mediation for expedient resolution of disputes. This partnership with the judiciary has been realized courtesy of the best practice insights in banking mediation, mediation through the support of Jones Day spearheaded by their representative, the retired U.S. Federal Appeals Court Judge, Justice Anne Claire Williams, as I heard the Chief Justice call her, Madam Achieng. Yes, yes. <laughs> the special attention on mediation by the banking industry during this summit aims to enhance the, the uptake of mediation as the best option resolving disputes by all. We only seek to lead the way and have other sectors follow suit. It is my conviction that our collective efforts and integrated approach will help entrench mediation in the banking industry and all other sectors of the economy, including the government in resolving business disputes. Colleagues in the banking industry, all disputes within banking industry can be settled through mediation of course, except certain criminal cases. To transform our economy and attract domestic and foreign investment, we must disrupt the way we resolve our commercial disputes. The lengthy court process prevents parties to commercial disputes from accessing their funds 
obtaining financing from banks or attracting investors and of course damaging business relations due to time. To achieve expeditious conflict resolution, cost effectively, restore and sustain business relations, mediation provides the best alternative that assists parties to the dispute reach a mutually acceptable solution, as Dr. Agutu articulated. Our court's language and procedures pose a challenge to majority of us, including the very learned friends, and of course my friends, the CEOs of the banks here. The phrase, the Kenyan wonderful phrase, the law is clear, is a mirage. <laughs> As there are varied interpretations on any single point of law one can find. As I tell most lawyers, I think lawyers went to study English, not law. <laughs> Mediation provides the relief that encourages parties to speak in their own words with their own accompanying meanings. And as Dr. Ogutu said, all parties have a say during the mediation. The court's jargon will remain intimidating and prone to the misinterpretation by many which risk is eliminated by mediation. As banks, we seek to fully embrace mediation in resolving customer challenges, reducing the commercial court cases backlog involving banks and releasing capital to the economy. This summit affords us an opportunity to learn from our friends in the region and globally from economies that have progressed in entrenching banking mediation in their legal systems and which we seek to emulate. I want to appreciate the support by the Central Bank of Kenya under the leadership of the Governor, Dr. Patrick Jeroge, in formulating guidelines with specific timelines for resolution of bank customers' complaints through the Banking Sector Charter. The further support for the industry's mediation initiative in collaboration with the retired judge Anne Williams to advance the charter spirit of expedious resolution of customer complaints, conflicts and disputes with banks is truly appreciated. The African proverbs and sayings that I mentioned earlier find refuge in the quote by a former Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, Chief Justice Warren E. Berger, who said that, the notion that most people want black robed judges, or extremely well clothed judges, what is it you wear on your head? <laughs> huh? The wigs. The wigs. We are dressed lawyers and find paneled courtrooms. The notion that most people want that as a setting to resolve their dispute is not correct. People with problems, just like people with pain, want relief. And they want it as quickly and as inexpensively as possible. Businesses seek to have their disputes resolved inexpensively, preserve commercial relations, have control over their disputes, maintain confidentiality, and be afforded the opportunity to arrive at mutually satisfactory solutions with the other parties. All these expectations, luckily, are met through mediation. We want to applaud the continued support from lawyers in the country, and special thanks to the President of the Law Society of Kenya, Mr. Eric Deuri, for leading the way. The LSK members who will be making presentations in the diverse sessions here today, we are truly grateful to you. To all lawyers joining physically and online, as you continue to guide parties through mediation, we're grateful for your support. We challenge LSK and the judiciary to formulate specific remuneration scale for lawyers representing clients in mediation. Your guidance as lawyers to parties in mediation is invaluable. But as you work on the remuneration scale, I do want to mention Please be mindful. <laughs> I was looking at Eric. Eric, I wasn't going to be anything. I wasn't going to say anything worse than that. <laughs> Things are expensive. Kunaja. Even bank bank CEOs have become hustlers, as you know.
And to the judiciary, the banking industry's aim is to fully adopt mediation as a preferred choice for resolution of disputes in the sector in support of your vision of transforming access to justice through a multi-door approach to resolution of disputes. We also appreciate the ongoing expansion of the court annex mediation, mediation registries throughout the country so that no one is left behind on mediation. Taking advantage of this summit, I appeal to all sectors of the economy to embrace mediation in resolving disputes to minimize costs, time, and inconvenience associated with litigation. This would not only benefit the parties to the dispute, but also facilitates the release and quick flow of valuable resources for businesses. Let us aid the judiciary to enhance the quality and efficiency of judgments for cases that must be determined in court. In conclusion, thus, I want to pay special thanks to you, the judiciary, to Strathmore University, Jane Jones Day, the Central Bank of Kenya, the Law Society of Kenya, and the banking industry for making this banking mediation summit a reality. The association, the Kenya Bank Association, commits to work with all stakeholders towards the expedient resolution of banking disputes and release of capital back to the economy through mediation. With those few remarks, I thank you very much and enjoy your two days. Thank you very much. <laughs>